Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off on the uh, Craftsman uh, demo. I want to go ahead and take a look at the completed site, which is here. And uh, it's on a uh, different URL, but you can see that uh, I've got the uh, I've got the author box here with my uh, social media quick links. I've got a uh, opt-in form here on the right, and I've got some menus here with uh, nice thumbnail images next to them. So um, I'm going to show you how to create that uh, back at the uh, back at the site that we were working on before. You can see where we left off. And I'll go ahead and go back into theme options, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, the widgets. And the first thing you notice uh, on the site is I've got the slider widget here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and uh, I'm going to make this uh, this author box widget. I'm going to move that down to the uh, content area. So to remove that widget, it is in the uh, above content area, the slider widget. So uh, I can do one of two things. I can just hide it, uh, which uh, will save any settings I've got here inside the uh, setting, or if I've got it set to show a post, uh, show a custom uh, category, uh, it will save that setting if I just click hide and save. Or uh, if I know I'm not going to use it, I can just drag it off screen and it will no longer be there so back to the site refresh and you can see that that uh, is no longer there so uh, I'll go back and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab that orthobox widget which is here and I'm gonna drag it down into the above content area okay and so having done that I'll go back and refresh and now I can see that the author box is setting up here. So there's a couple things I need to do to make it match the other uh, site you saw. For first of all, it's showing just a default uh, avatar image, uh, and it's not showing any social media links there. So I need to go ahead and populate those. To do that, I can go to the users profile section of the site, and I'll go ahead and enter my information here. Uh, Facebook is going to be there, and Twitter, and my Google Plus, and my LinkedIn. You can leave any of these blank you want, or you can, uh, you know, fill them all in. I'm also going to do the website. I'm going to do my Google Plus um, profile link there, so that when people click on my image, it'll automatically go to my Google Plus homepage. Uh, you'll still get authorship credit uh, if you don't do that as long as you have it here but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it there so once I've done that I'll just click update profile and go back and refresh and now I've got those social media links and I can also do those small if I like um, you can just come back to the appearance widgets and load up that above content widget open it up and I can just say use smaller icons click save and it's gonna go ahead and show smaller icons so you can do large or small whichever you like uh, the next thing is the image is not populating so that pulls from the uh, again the user's profile and whatever email address I have in uh, my uh, in my email right here. So I don't have support at clickbump.com registered at gravatar.com and uh, you can see that link here if you if you need it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter the email address that I do have and you can have multiple email addresses stored at gravatar for the same uh, avatar image. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter one that I know I do have on file there. Uh, again that's gravatar.com and uh, they store your images for comments that you post across the web as well as uh, as well as your art the box for click bump so uh, now I've got that there listed so um, the next thing I want to do is I want to streamline this uh, area over here I'm going to take all those widgets out except for 
uh, I'm going to have an opt-in box and I'm not going to use this, this is just simple opt-in. I actually have a forms widget in ClickBump that you can use for that. So again, going over to the widgets area, as I said in part one, you can pretty much create an entire website now just with widgets since I've uh, componentized all of these uh, widgets that uh, would do things you would normally have to go over to uh, maybe layout or menus. Uh, you can now do all of that really here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, search and I'm going to remove uh, recent menus and the opt-in and the text box. So now uh, I shouldn't have anything over the right sidebar and uh, I can verify that. Just click refresh. Okay, so I've got an empty sidebar and I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to recreate this get the free report thing with just an email and a submit button. So to do that, I'm going to grab the click bump forms widget, drag it over into the sidebar and now you can see that this forms widget already has some default code. You can grab this and pull it out just to see more information. It has a default Aweber uh, ad lead script here, here for you. So uh, you would just need to populate these values um, the web form ID, your list name, uh, the redirect URL to your uh, auto responder homepage, all that stuff. You just populate there, click save, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to um, just take everything except the email and submit button and I'm going to remove it. Okay, and if you make a mistake, you can just pull this off and pull, an, pull another copy over, and it pre-populates with the default content. Uh, so that's there, and I don't think I have uh, on the website, yeah, I don't have any disclaimers here, uh, so I'm going to remove that too, just to get a really clean look. So all of that stuff is below the uh, closing form tag here, so I can just take that and remove that. I'm going to leave that closing div tag there, so you can just see that I've, what that looks like there. I only want this to show on the home page, so I'm going to click show on home. And uh, you can see you've got various filters here. You can also uh, filter it by the post slug. So if I only wanted it to show on maybe the home page and the blog page, for example, I would just say, uh, I would enter the word blog there in, uh, in asterisk and then click save and that way that would only appear on my blog page and the home page or I could just make it appear on only on the blog page just by clicking show on and entering blog there uh, optionally you can just click this URL there but that's just to remind you that you actually have the ability to filter by URL so again I'm gonna remove that just click show on home and click save and now go back to the site and refresh that and now I've got uh, that there. It doesn't look exactly like what we've got there. Get it now. It's free and I've actually got some extra text here so I can remove that and I can also change this heading to get the free report. Uh, I'll also show you how to center that text as well. So I've got a little bit more text than I had on my uh, on my demo area so I can show you. You can just remove that here and now the uh, get it now it's free. I can just change that to download the free report and click save okay and now it's like I want it except for what if I want this centered uh, Chrome has a pretty nifty little tool called the inspector palette that you can see the the uh, CSS hook for any element on the page so I can just click this uh, just click within this and go inspect element and it's going to show me that this particular element has a class of sidebar title. So I can copy that and I can go into, you can just close that out, and I can go into the click bump custom CSS. So just go to the default click bump theme options page and now I can enter that sidebar title. I have to put a dot in front of it for proper CSS and then click these brackets here, open and close brackets, and now I can say text dash align center. Okay, just a quick little bit of CSS uh, for that. And now refresh. And now the text is centered there. So 
Um, I, I share a lot of custom CSS on the forum, so if you have questions about that, uh, just little tweaks like that are really quick to do with custom CSS. Uh, you can also do a lot of those tweaks within the layout section, uh, the text section of the uh, of the theme options, but that's a quick way to do it. So um, I've also got this boilerplate, uh, you know, this default text I, I installed with Jumpstart Pro just to show your way around. It tells you about you know sidebar widgets and social media sharing settings and all of that stuff. So I can remove that. I'm just going to go back to the uh, post this time and that's my sticky post so I'm just going to click sticky here to uh, if you got a long list of posts it's easy to find your sticky post just by clicking that and then uh, clicking that to edit it so um, I'm gonna just remove uh, let's see what we have on the uh, uh, on the de default site we just had that first that first sentence just to introduce the site you can dismiss these little things here so I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, remove all of that click update and once that updates uh, my computer still processing a video in the background so it's running a little slow but um, go ahead and refresh the page and now I have it uh, almost exactly like our default uh, site that we're copying here uh, and I just need to add these these uh, this uh, menu here. So what you see is you see these thumbnail images. These are actually the featured images for each of those posts. Uh, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the post and I'm going to go ahead and go to one of the posts here, our services for example. And I'm going to just tidy up this area here and I'm going to drag my featured image uh, palette up here to the top so I can work with it easily. Just click set featured image, select files, and I have a folder here on my desktop which has uh, the images I want to use for my thumbnails. So I can just select all of those and click open. It's going to copy those all over. You can see I already had some default images I'm using for my slider widget here um, that are going to show up. So I'm going to just select, uh, let's select this wheat image as the featured image for this particular post. I don't even really have to click update. It's already set. So um, I can just move on to the next one. So I'm going to go to the, uh, and you can see that the thumbnail is showing up here on the right just to show me that I've already done that. So I'll go ahead and click edit on customer testimonials and I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to set, set featured image and I'm going to use this little target icon here for that one and uh, then I'll go back to the uh, post listing I can see it's been added there and now I'll go to this awards and honor sample page and again you're gonna delete these or you're gonna create your own but just showing you exactly how to uh, implement this feature here and I'm gonna use this little six here for that and uh, you can notice that this particular image is a PNG with a transparent background and that really adds a little bit of professionalism to your site if you've got uh, a darker background color than white and uh, you don't have that white uh, you won't have that white outline it'll show up exactly like you want it to uh, on the site so I'll go ahead and refresh that we can see we've got images now so now we need to actually add the menu to the site so uh, all I've done really is I've added the uh, the icons and when I go and I can see these I don't have a recent I don't have a way to view that those other than currently other than going to the site map so I can see these uh, these posts so I'm going to click on the archive articles and uh, click on services and I've got this uh, this widget showing on every page. I just want that to show on the home page, so I'll go back and fix that. But you can see the services now has this, uh, as well as the uh, related articles, is showing those below. And I can set all that up through theme options. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove this uh, from the, uh, or I can actually pull a copy of it and put it below the, the post if I like. So back to the widgets area and I'll go to above content and click show on home there and 
go back and now that's going to disappear and I can make it show up below if I like by dragging a copy another copy of that over Arthur box I can put that there and I can even change the text and then I can say hide on home or I can say show on post and that will isolate it so it only shows on post and then click save and now when I refresh this page you can see it showing up below and it still has this welcome to website so I can remove that just click this hide title on site or I could make it say I want to make it about the author I could do that change it to that or I could just hide it so just refresh that and now it shows uh, my information there at the bottom uh, okay so I might also want to have that opt-in form here on the right if I want to do that then I'll just go and I'll say I'll grab it from the sidebar and I'll say show on posts and pages okay and now refresh that and that's going to show up there alright so now we just need to do the menu on the uh, home page okay down below we're going to put it here just above this so uh, the way I have it on this this site I have the the lower menu in the gray area that's actually footer 2 and then I have the menu in this upper area which is footer 1 by default these are currently in footer 1 so I'll drag them down to footer 2 and I'll add the menu in footer 1 there so the way I want to do that is I'll go and just collapse these guys here and I'm going to pull those down into all these elements down into footer 2. So I'll say there, grab this one, pull it under, grab the third one and pull it under the second one, and the fourth one, okay, and the social widgets, and go back and refresh. And now that's going to be in the gray area, okay? So that leaves me room to put the menu there. So to do the menu, it's uh, one of the newer widgets in 6.4. It's click bump menus. I can just grab it and pull it over here. And this is, uh, by default, it's going to show six items uh, in one row. So what I want to show is I want to show three items in, uh, in one row, in, with three items per row. So I could say six with three items per row, and it would show two two uh, rows of three. But I'm just going to say three items at three hour three per row, and click save. Okay, and just go back, and it's going to populate that here. Uh, by default, it's going to show the comment count for each of those posts. If I don't want to display that, I can just say hide comment count. I can also hide the post thumbnail hide the post excerpt I can add more items the, to the post add more words to the post excerpt by this show more if I can come down here and I say I want this to be let's say 10 uh, okay and I refresh and now the comments are removed and it's got more text um, if I want to put a read more link there all I have to do is say show read more link and uh, I can see the actual format of the read more here. Maybe I want to add a pipe character in front of that. So um, I can do that. Click save and refresh it. And now it's got the read more. And uh, that's really it. That's a quick overview of the uh, setup that we did to emulate the uh, default site. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it.